Hi everyone, this is Andrew Tai and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be talking about running Doom 3 on modern Mac operating systems. So Doom 3 originally came out in 2004 and it was ported to the Mac operating system in March 14th, 2005. And this original version was released as a retail disc and um, it used to run the PowerPC architecture. So we can see that from websites at the time that the Doom 3 game ran on a completely different architecture and um, eventually it was ported and updated for Intel Mac compatibility and even added to the Mac App Store. But um, based on some research that I've done, it seems that Doom 3 was removed from the Mac App Store in 2019. And this is probably because it was a 32-bit application. So if I look at the notes here on PC Gaming Wiki, it seems that the game was removed after the release of Catalina, which dropped support for games which were not 64-bit. So therefore we need to use a source port. So the best one to use is called Doom 3, spelt in a funny way. So Doom 3 is a source port of the original Doom 3 and not the BFG edition. And it will allow us to run the game on operating systems it was never originally designed for. So in this case, we're gonna be running it on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac on Big Sur. However, when it comes to actually downloading and playing the Doom 3 source port, the developers have managed to include a Linux build and also a Windows build, but they've neglected to include a Mac build, despite the fact that the source port fully supports Mac as well. And I think this is due to the team not having access to a Mac. Marcus Herbert from the Mac Rumors forum was kind enough to build a version, which is a slightly older version, of the Doom 3 source board, but this one works perfectly well. And I've also mirrored it on PC Gaming Wiki. So I'll be including links for these in the description, and I'm just gonna show you how this works and how to load the actual data in yourself. So the first thing you're gonna to need to do is to download the Doom 3 source port. So if you follow the link and click on the download file, we'll download a copy of this source port. So what we'll need to do next is to double click on the image file we just downloaded. And then we're going to create a new folder on the desktop. And what we'll do is we'll select all the files within the image and then copy it to the folder. So once that folder is ready, what we'll need to do is to put the base folder game data into the source port subfolder. So what we'll need is a copy of Doom 3. And if you own Doom 3 on Steam, then what I suggest you do is to follow my tutorial on using Crossover and then install the Windows version of Steam. And once you've installed Steam, then you should use Crossover and download the Windows version of Doom 3. And that's all explained in the tutorial, which is linked in the top right hand corner of the screen. So once you've downloaded it, you will actually be able to run it, but it'll run so poorly that it won't be playable. So what you need to do is to click on your bottles and find the Steam bottle and then control click on that bottle. And then we're gonna open the C drive on the crossover version of your Steam. And if we go into the installation folder, go back into Steam, and then find the Steam apps folder. We double click on that and then we click on the common folder and then we find the Doom 3 folder here. And then we find that base folder that we need. So we have a bunch of base files there. So what we're gonna do is minimize this, open up the Doom 3 source port folder, open up the base folder there, and we're gonna select all in here and then copy them into the base folder there. So now Doom 3 is now ready to run. So all we need to do now is to double click on this and we will be able to open this. If you have trouble getting past Gatekeeper, what you need to do is to open security and privacy. And when we press OK here, it's going to prompt us in this general tab. And we're going to click open anyway and open again. And it's going to let us run the game. So this particular source port hasn't actually been optimized to work on the new Apple Silicon M1 chips. And it's still showing here that it's designed to be used for Intel chips. And therefore it's going to be using Rosetta to translate the instructions to the new M1 Apple Silicon chips. However, the performance is actually still pretty good. So I'm going to be ending this video here. If you'd like to see Doom 3 running on the M1 Apple Silicon MacBook Air, please click one of the end cards, which will take you to my benchmark video. If you did like this video, please like and subscribe. If you use this 
tutorial, please leave a comment and I'll see you in the next tech video.